Hi, my name is Peter. I work with the Challenger Street newspaper. So I um, organized with a group called the Challenger Street Newspaper, um, and for last Thursday, the start of the occupation, we proposed to put together a tent city um, with some of our um, ha un un unhoused folks um, who write for our paper and distribute our paper. Um, that tent, that tent city, uh, we put up one tent. It got taken down within an hour, um, early in the day. And we weren't sort of given a chance to to gather support to hopefully stay overnight. Um, so then some supportive birds, some supporters of ours um, moved a tent over here. You can see this orange tent right here. Um, which people rallied around and won on Thursday night after after groups of people uh, sat in on it and a large group of people um, gathered around and chanted support tent city support tent city um, you know just kind of kind of trying to keep the dream alive um, and so the second night on Friday night uh, supporters put up a second tent uh, immediately adjacent to it and um, that night uh, I guess so. Like, like the first night, um, I was in the tent at 9:30. Uh, the chief of police came by at at 9:30 and told me that I had a half hour to leave. Um, 15 minutes later, another officer came by, and told me the time was now. I dipped out of there, and then uh, people gathered around it and sat in it to defend it. The second night was a different story. I was in the tent with again at 11 with about four other people, um, and. Um, at, at 11, the chief of police came by with a few other officers and told us to just immediately get out and to immediately take down the tent. Um, everybody filed out in front of me. Um, the police, the, the, the chief of police, Art Acevedo, put himself um, a little less than a foot in front of me as I tried to exit the tent um, and told me that I had to take down the tent before before I left, before I left it. I told him that I had to get out of the tent before I could take it down um, and then he let me pass and I tried to sort of, uh, I guess, sort of disappear into the crowd, um, you know, walk away just as they, just as they let um, everybody else in the tent away. Um, he grabbed my shoulder and pulled me back over. Um, it wasn't, I mean, like, like, like the way they've been working as is working us here is, 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 is like they're our best friends, um, but they still have that authority over us. So it was a very like paternalistic, like hand on the shoulder, sort of like guiding me back to the tent. Um, you know, one of those things where it's like he could touch me like that, but I would have no prayer of ever touching him like that. Um, unless it was to hold an I love APD sign up and give him a hug for a photo. Um, so, so he pulled me back and told me to take down the tent. Um, I told him it wasn't my tent. Um, I wasn't going to take it down. It wasn't my job. Um, he, you know, we keep he keeps on telling me to take down the tent. Um, told him, you know, it's not mine. It's not mine. Um, and uh, he told me to take some of the stuff that was in the tent out. I told him it wasn't mine. I couldn't take it. That would be stealing. Um, and he held me there for a little bit longer. Um, I was touched by another officer during that time, put his hands on my back, also in a similar paternalistic manner. Um, and then, um, I don't know if he's here right now, but one of our homeboys with dreadlocks out here, um, this kid Joshua, uh, came up, also laid hands on me, um, and then negotiated with, with, uh, with Art Acevedo, the chief of police, to... He, he basically volunteered to help, to help Art Acevedo take down the tent. Um, so that's what they spent the next little bit doing. Um, they, I mean, they basically crushed the tent, um, balled it up, and uh, the two of them carried it off around the side of City Hall. Um, I was, I was detained during that time. I was asked for my identification. Um, you know, I, I, I forgot my Know Your Rights 101, so you know, I didn't, didn't ask him if I was detained, um, and I wasn't ever given a signal that I was free to go. Um, but when it was sort of clear that I guess like also at that also at that time uh, people had gathered around um, and were um, chanting about the tent uh, support tent city we are the tent as they tore it down um, and then the cops protect the one percent um, as all that happened with you know some 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 disagreements as you can see here tonight we're having our conversation about what our attitudes towards the police are we're obviously not all unified on that. Um, so, 
So yeah, that's what happened. And as soon as I sort of felt like I was a little bit more free to leave, basically as soon as I didn't have any more hands on me, um, I tried to I tried to step away and back off into the crowd a little bit more. Um, and that was that was that, that was the extent of it. Um, that night, um, they crushed it. They had actually threatened to. Um, if we if we put up a sec or I guess I guess if a second tent was to, was going to be put up, he had threatened to uh, take down both tents. Um, but as you can see, tent one is still standing. So um, you know, I think I I feel like we have you know popular support and momentum, um, and you know can hopefully um, can hopefully move in here a little bit more.